Hello and welcome back to Sunrider Liberation Day Return. Let us saga through. Let her destroy the Liberty. Alright, if that's your choice. You! The other shields grabbed him by the scruff of the throat and lifted shields off his feet. What have you done to a saga? Why is she attacking the Liberty? Nothing! If you had been paying more attention to your crew, you would have found out about a saga's feelings for yourself. And for a moment they faced off against each other in front of the bridge. Their backs illuminated by the giant main monitor. Man to man. Shields gritted his teeth. This would be where he would defeat his past self. Rewrite the future. He would dirty his hands in the process by murdering Chigara. Turn a saga into her murderer, but it was a small price to pay. The security of the galaxy hinged on this moment. Fire on! And at that moment, Ava broke free from the marines and headbutted the other shield's gut. Zip. Either she's incredibly short, she either leaned over a lot, or he's like a platform above her or something, because it's really difficult to headbutt someone in the stomach. It's doable, don't get me wrong, but admittedly I have a poor appreciation for the difficulty of headbutting people in the stomach since I'm six foot five and most of the people I do my martial training with are shorter than I am. Actually, all of them are. It's always great whenever you, you know, try to do a particularly new move and you're like, hang on, this doesn't quite work. And you realise it's because the medieval manuals assumed it was going to be two blokes of roughly equal size fighting each other, not a six foot five guy and a five foot tall girl. Anyway. <clears throat> The captain's gone insane. As executive officer, I am taking command. Silence! You will obey me! I am the ship's captain! A captain corrupted by an enemy spy. You are no longer worthy of this ship. Whatever lies the chiefs fed you, you must snap out of it. No! No, at this rate, Chigara will... The marines could only dart their eyes from the captain and the commander of the ship, at a complete loss as to whose order to obey, and as the two of them struggled on the floor. The blackjack sailed past the Bianca. The past now altered. Ah! Captain, what the hell's going on? A saga's putting too much stress on the Blackjack's engines. It's like she's gone insane. At this rate... Suddenly, two of the Blackjack's tail thrusters exploded. Somehow a saga managed to maintain the Blackjack's course, sending it spiralling towards the Liberty. What? No! Realisation dawned on Shields. And from this point on, he had no idea how, ev how events were going to unfold themselves. Just what was going on? Ha 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 ha! Chikara, we're both gonna die together! Shield's blood went cold. No! No! No, this isn't what I thought would happen! Captain, I've done it! I loved you! This is for the best! Now everyone will be safe! Shields collapsed to his knees as the blackjack collided with the Liberty, vaporizing both riders into a massive fireball. No! A saga! The Marines, the Marines finally snapped out of the confusion and rushed to detain Shields and Ava, but it was already too late. The timeline had been rewritten, the time paradox triggered, and the entire universe collapsed. Shields looked at the twisted debris of the blackjack on the main screen as the world faded to white. I... I didn't mean to kill you too. I'm sorry. But the galaxy is saved now. You saved everyone, even though you had no idea. In the end, he decided he would sacrifice the lives of his family to fulfill his mission. And this was the logical outcome of that decision. He would simply have to live with the knowledge that he had sent Asaga and Chigara to their deaths. Shields hung his head and closed his eyes as he faded to nothingness. This is the end. It's... It's finally over. This is the price we paid for peace. <laughs> Wh which ending was that? Was that the good one, the bad one, or the really crap one? Yes, thank you. Shields and Ava stood in front of Asaga's grave. While a more grand memorial was constructed back at Ruvia Prime, the two of them had decided to make a small shrine of their own, beside the resting places of their families. Shields knelt down and placed a package of the spiciest curry you could find on the planet in front of Asaga's altar. 
Saga. It's been two years since we liberated Sarah. Everything happened the way you said. Shigara really was a spy. I, I should have listened to you sooner. If I'd done that, you would still be alive today. In the universe which emerged from S.H.I.E.L.D.'s mission through time, S.H.I.E.L.D.s had chosen to believe Ava's suspicion that Shigara was a prototype. While they had worked together to thwart the prototype's plan to commit a mass assassination out of the battle, Asaga had endeavoured to stop Chigara on her own. In the end, Asaga collided the Blackjack into the Liberty during the battle, killing them both. And thanks to S.H.I.E.L.D.'s warning, Fontana about the virus prior to the battle, the combined fleet and allied Pact fleet had managed to defeat the Nightmare Ascendant, upon which the remaining Pact Loyalist forces unconditionally surrendered. Newly instated Venisar S. Fontana declared his intent to sign a peace treaty with the Solar Alliance, when Pact gave up all military claim to the Neutral Rim, bringing an end to the war. Ultimately, they lived in a mostly happy future, where billions of lives which would have been lost had the massacre took place were spared. However, the guilt of sending a saga to kill Chigara would weigh on Shield's heart for the rest of his life. In the end... I murdered, I used a saga to murder her best friend, who in turn was being mind controlled by the prototypes. Neither of them deserved their fates. His peace was won with their blood. He stared at Astaga's tombstone, and Shield wished with all his heart that it had been his blood which had behaved for their victory. In the end, his heart was ravaged with regret. I. I should have been the one to die. It was my responsibility. I was a coward. I sent my pilots to die. When preventing the massacre was my mission, not a saga's. Hmm. <laughs> Ava knelt down beside him. Cato. Her death saved the lives of Admiral Grey as well as a dozen other Alliance officials. And even that pales in comparison to the billions she saved by preventing an all-out war between the Alliance and Pact. I could not imagine a better hero's death than that. In the end, I think she would have been proud. She will always be remembered as the saviour of the galaxy. No. The real reason she died wasn't that. It was because I never returned her feelings. Indeed, he was haunted by the guilt of having ignored Asaga's affections at the very moment of her death. It was a truth which only Shields knew. Saga had not died a hero's death, meaning to sacrifice her life for the galaxy. She had died in sorrow, her mind torn apart by her awakening, and her heart broken from her unrequited love. But Shields would never tell anyone else the truth. Instead, he would take it to his grave so that a saga would forever live on, larger than life as a mythic war hero. That was the only thing he could do for her now. He had made his decision, and he would keep marching forward. That would be his punishment for sending two of his pilots to their deaths. No matter what, we'll keep living. Regrets are here to make us stronger, but in the end we can't redo our past. He stood and saluted to Asaga's grave, and Ava joined in with a crisp salute of her own. Shields faced Ava. The Sunrider sets port tomorrow at 0800 hours. Commanders received reports from the Alliance that the entire colonies had begun to vanish near the Mainos Abyss. Would have joined the Alliance task group and investigate. Let's move out. Sir, I look forward again to serving as your XO in this new voyage. Shields left the graveyard, with Ava behind him. His mission was not yet over. And with that, Captain Cato Shields and Commander Ava Crescentia returned to space. Normal Ava ending the Maiden's suicide. Well, you managed to prevent the massacre, but both the Saga and Chigara ended up dead. Uh, it doesn't look like you managed to score with your childhood friend either. <laughs> too bad, Captain. If you're feeling lonely too, I, Claude Trillio, shall more than make up for your Sunder XO. That is, if you can find my ending. <laughs> Things went wrong this time because you fell for Alice's trap, and the ship lost power during Chigara's kidnapping. Try again, and this time, find a way to interrupt Alice before she takes over Chigara's body. Huh. So out of curiosity, if I go back to uh, return. So, 5% complete. I found one of them. So what? Okay, guys. Tell you what, I'll be nice to you. I've got three days, so I'm going to record a complete run through on each of these three days. So I'll do some different endings, try and find different routes through. Okay. So 
So uh, that'll be it for this part. But as I say, three days, three endings. That seemed reasonable to you guys? Good. So I will now say thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next part. <laughs>